The last couple of weeks were quiet. I've been living in the woods, alone, with my thoughts, trying not to let them get to me, too much at least. The supplies I gathered and sold from the last trip were slowly dying out, so I had to hunt. I had to be careful with the fire, but the nights were getting colder. Sometimes I hear them in the night, growls and screams echoing in the distance, and I wonder who's next, which poor soul. And each morning I feel a strange chill in my spine, like something's telling me that I need to stop this madness, the madness I have become. My memories of better times started to fade, and it was unsettling. Sometimes I'm having trouble remembering their faces, and in a strange way, I'm glad that my family is not going through this. I'm glad that they could not see the change, the change in me. A living nightmare, that's what this was. There was just no end to it. Reliving the same bad dream over and over again. But soon I will have to search for more supplies. I will have to loot the city. I will have to take a life again. With each man I kill, it's like something dies in me too. A small part of myself just disappears evaporate. I don't even know who I am anymore. With the shadow and the emptiness around me, I try to stay focused. Stay alive. Who would have thought that in the midst of an apocalypse, we would still need to harm one another just to survive? Who would have thought that when the law of the man died out, and nature kicked in, that your biggest fear will become man himself. When all the lights go out, and there are no rules to abide, it all comes down to this, cat and mouse, hide and seek. It all comes down to finding the tribe that suits you. But so far, I was a loner. I woke up in an abandoned warehouse to the sound of a gun being fired. It sounded muffled and like it was not too far away, so I grabbed my sporter gun and came closer. I spotted two dead bodies on the coast, but I also spotted the bandit sniper, so it had to be done.
needed to get out of there before more of his clansmen came looking. But one of them opened fire on me. Luckily he missed so I backed off right away. As I was running, I spotted him in the distance. He was tailing me. But not for much longer. I dug a hole for the two survivors they had killed. They must have caught them just as they were leaving a nearby town. So I decided to go there. See if there is anyone left. Hello? Anyone in here? Hey! Hello? Whoa. Yo, get inside, it's not safe. Get inside. You from? Yeah, I'm from the north coast. I just came all the way down here. You need anything? You good? I can maybe spare some food for you. Okay, I put some food and drink on the ground. Here's some nails if, in case you need it. Me? Yeah, it's it's for you. Take it. Oh, thank you. A lot of zombie problems, huh? No problem. Yeah, we might want to get out the street. It's pretty dangerous here. Here, let me help you out. Okay, you should be good. 
Thank you. So what you doing? Where are you headed? What? What you doing? You need a better weapon or some supplies? Не понимаете? А, окей, окей. Россия. Слава России. Окей, okay, I, I go, I go. Be careful, okay? Be. First I couldn't believe my eyes. There was actually someone who did not point their gun at me right away. So I thought to myself, there must be more. I have to get in touch with these people somehow. I decided to make a campfire and I also built a wooden box and left some supplies in it for whoever passes through here. I waited a couple of hours but no one showed up. I will come back in a few days to check again. It was already getting dark, so I started to head back to my shelter, but then... Hello? Anyone in there? Coming up. <laughs> 